Okay, mixed and improper fractions. So first we identify mixed and improper and need to know what they are. A mixed number is going to have a whole number, like I'll show number one, with a fraction that's mixed. Improper is where we would have a larger number in the numerator spot and a smaller number as the denominator. Sometimes they're going to give you a mixed number and ask you to find it the improper version of it. So here I'm going to start with the two and one third and we use what's called the Texas strategy, which TX and then lasso to show direction. Well, really the TX is to show us that we're going to have addition multiplication happening, but my lasso is showing me direction. So what I'm looking at is I start at the bottom and I have three, that X is really multiplication times two. The T is for addition plus your one and my denominator stays the same. Remember the denominator is total in each. So if I were drawing a picture, I would have two whole all the way filled in. And then I would have another one with only one third filled in. But remember with our fractions, even though these two are filled in all the way, they still are out of three pieces because this one is out of three pieces. So my denominator means there are three in each. That's why my denominator stays the same. These two should be the same here. Okay, so three times two is six plus one is seven. That gives me seven thirds. This one is going to be my improper while this one was my mixed. Okay, why don't you pause the video, try with the next one on your own, and come back and check with me. Okay, so you should have paused the video, tried it on your own. Remember Texas, lasso it. Let's start from the bottom. Two times three plus one. Denominator stays the same. Two times three plus one is seven. But over two, again, they should be the same. This is my improper. Hey, why don't you go down to the six and four fifths, pause the video again and try it on your own, then come back and check with me. Okay, so you should have paused and check with me. We're gonna do the Texas and lasso, which means I'm gonna look at five times six plus four. Denominator stays the same. Five times six is 30 plus four is 34. Denominator stays the same as total in each. So here's my improper from my original mixed. You also may get an improper, which as we said, is identified by the numerator being larger than the denominator. So nine fourths is where we're gonna start. And we need to change it to a mixed. So we're gonna start with the nine in a division house. He is going to be top dog in the house. We call him top dog because where is he? He's on the top. So top dog's in the house, but four or the denominator is outside. Now just divide four divided by, I'm sorry, nine divided by four. Four can go in there twice, multiply, and get your remainder. So we need to know what each part of this means. Your quotient, the two, is going to be your whole number. So that's going to be my whole number is the two. My remainder is going to be the part or the numerator. And then the four, that is my total in each. So that is my denominator. So it's two and one fourth. Now it's top dog in the house, but backwards check, meaning we're going to go back and check and just make sure that these two match. Remember if I do this mixed and proper, it's four times two plus one, denominator stays the same. Four times two is eight plus one is nine, denominator stays the same. Make sure that the original one and your check matches, they do, so your two and one fourth works. Okay, let's go down to, or let's go over to six fifths. Pause the video, try one on your own, then come back and check with me. Okay, six fifths, we've got top dog. And if we're writing, 
should be in the house. Denominators outside. Divide. That goes in once. Remainder one. So remember, I'm going to take my quotient is my whole number. Remainder is my numerator. Divisor is my denominator. Total in each. Then go back and check. Texas, lasso it. 5 times 1 plus 1 over 5. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. This, go back, it should match, and it does. Okay, do one more. Just pause the video, try it on your own. Let's do 8 thirds, then come back and check with me. Okay, so 8 thirds. We're going to start with our top dog, and he's going to go in the house. Device, uh, the divisor is 3 from our bottom number or denominator. Divide it. Goes in twice. Remainder 2, which tells me my mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds. But I'm going to go back and check and make sure. Texas, lasso it. I've got 3 times 2 plus 2. Denominator stays the same. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Denominator stays the same. And I'm just going to go back and double check. It matches, which means two and two thirds is the correct answer.